Hi YouTube, this is Patrick, um, and this is my second attempt at doing this. I put a review up before and saw that it was so awful I deleted it, so I'm doing this again. Um, and what this is going to be, it's going to be my weekly or daily or bi-weekly or whateverly column of my of the films that I own on Blu-ray. Um, I can just talk to you and tell you if they're worth their price. Because uh, I have like over 200. Uh, most of them, most of them, which I'm going to say, are worth their price. But I can at least do even a review on each one of the movies, um, like a short little one. Um, I can probably go alphabetical, so these aren't just random, uh, which I guess I'll do. Um, but uh, if I get like something new from Amazon, I'll just do a review of that that day. Um, yeah, you know, it's I think it's it's something to do in between the TV reviews and our fuzzy motion stuff. So I'm going to start with the Star Wars. Um, I, I know that doesn't begin with the letter A. I just figured I should start with this because it's kind of a, a big one. Uh, as you can see, I just got the original trilogy. The reason being is um, the full package was $80 on Amazon. It has three movies that I don't enjoy. Uh, which are the prequels, which I'm not spending $40 on. They tried to bait anyone that thought that with 30 hours of bonus features, but honestly, all the bonus features are things that are going to be on YouTube eventually. They're all stories that about the original movies that I know anyway, and I don't really care to know how they made the prequels. Um, well, they made them badly. That's, that's pretty much it. Um, but, so, I got just the original trilogy, and as you can see, they um, wanted to make you not want to buy this by putting it in the ugliest looking packaging they could find. Um, you know, because the original trilogy is all about Vader and, like, the Emperor, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, to talk about each of these movies, I mean, I love all three of them. Um, the video quality, audio quality of them are, you know, Spectacular! It's a huge upgrade from DVD, so in that respect, it's worth your money. Um, if you're unhappy with the changes that have been made to these movies and the changes that he just recently made with this one, specifically the um, Darth Vader thing in Jedi, uh, the thing is, if you want to wait for the later release of just the untouched-like thing, you know, be my guest, but you're gonna be waiting. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna bet on five years, because he's got. Um, he's got all these movies are gonna be coming out in 3D the next couple of years, so that package will be out. And just yeah, it's gonna be a while. Uh, it could even be longer than that. Um, so, you know, why not? Why not own these? You know, the best video and audio quality. Um, they're still great movies. You can always hit the skip button and hit the mute button during Vader's yell and everything like that. Um, so in my opinion, you really should get these. Um, apparently the Ewoks blink now. I wouldn't have noticed if I hadn't heard that they do. Um, I, they don't need to blink. I don't, I don't know. Um... As far as other changes, uh, not really much. I mean, you know, if you were able to live with buying the DVDs of these, um, you'll be able to live with the Blu-rays. Um, just like I said, just hit the mute button when you have to. Uh, so yeah, so that's going to be like a little short and sweet one for this because I don't know what, you know, I don't know what to say about Star Wars. You know, you either love these movies or you don't. Um, just, if $40 is too much now, wait a little while. I'm sure it'll drop. I'm sure it'll drop around Christmas. You know, if this thing drops to like $30, you know, 10 bucks a movie, that's really not that bad. Um, so yeah, if you're a little like skeptical, I would say wait until maybe it drops a little bit more. But it's definitely worth getting, considering you're not going to be able to get the ones you really want for... Uh, a bunch of years. And I, I personally just because if you love the prequels, you know, more power to you, but um, then I guess that other thing is worth the $80. Um, 
you know, if you have kids, your kids might actually even enjoy the prequels. Um, so maybe that thing is definitely worth it. So, I don't know. Not for me, though. So anyway, that's going to be the end of this one. Um, I might do, like I said, I might do another one tomorrow. Um, we'll see. Uh, if I start tomorrow, I'll just start, like, alphabetically. Or I'll start with, like, numbers, maybe. Movies that I have that are numbered. Um, yes, it's like a library. Um, I have my own Dewey Decimal, decimal System. Uh, I'll be doing the Dexter review on Monday. Um, Dexter, that season premiere, le season premiere leaked online, by the way, so if you want to catch it somewhere, you, you, you can. Um, I'm not going to say if I watched it already. Very good. Uh, but I'll do the whole review on Monday. So, alright, I'll see you guys.